Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about the BRICS summit in Russia. Basically what this is, is a meeting of 36 leaders at this summit where they're going to be talking about going against the dollar in the West. And also what this has caused is silver and gold to go up and yesterday and in this time period Silver has gone up to $35, also 34 Sometimes it dips down too, but also it's been staying at 35 as well. And it, silver has gone up very high because of this, and I will explain all that in this article. But first, I will explain some news about the BRICS and what's going on here. Vladimir Putin, ostracized by the West and labeled a possible war criminal by the International Criminal Court, has played host 36 world leaders from nations including China, India, Iran, as part of a summit of BRICS group designated to display Moscow as anything but isolated. And recently with the war going on over in Europe, there is an isolation or a alleged blocking of Russia. So they're trying to show that they are not blocked, but they have their own hemisphere of influence. One of the main aims of the summit will be to speed up ways to reduce the number of dollar transactions and so mitigate the U.S. ability to use the threat of sanctions to seek to impose its political will. And the dollar is a very powerful tool in the world, although it is declining because of economic issues. And it being printed so many times, in my opinion, causing it to not be as valuable. And it's lost over 90% of its buying power. You know, back in the old days, people can go and buy, go to a movie for $5 or less. Now it's $20 and more. So they're getting rid of the dollar. And as I said, this is causing the other assets to go up. The spokesperson for the UN Secretary General confirmed Antonio Guterres would attend the summit as he did last year. His decision infuriated many in the West, including the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry, since the International Criminal Court issued warrants for Putin's arrest in March 2023 over the alleged abduction of children. The UN said Guterres would repeat his view that the invasion of Ukraine is a breach of UN Charter. Moscow said the representatives for 36 countries were attending parts of the three-day meeting, making the largest international gathering hosted by Putin since he ordered the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Russia is this year's chair of the group. The Chinese President Xi Jinping greeted Putin in Kazakhstan as his dear friend, praising the profound friendship between the two countries, he said, quote, The world is undergoing profound changes unseen in a century, and the international situation is chaotic and intertwined. China-Russia ties have injected strong impetus into the development, revitalization, and modernization of the two countries, the Chinese leader said. Putin said, he wanted to strengthen ties between China to bring greater global stability. Quote, we intend to further increase coordination in all multilateral platforms to ensure global security and a just world order, he told Xi. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he wanted Ukraine conflict resolved quickly and peacefully. Modi visited Kiev in August, Moscow in July, in an effort to encourage talks, casting Delhi as a peacemaker. Putin speaking on Tuesday with the president of the BRICS, New Development Bank, Dilma Rousseff, said the use of local currencies instead of the dollar or euro helps to keep the economic development free from politics as far as possible 
to the context of today's world. Russia claims the group now represents the global majority that can make up a subtotal element of coming a new global order. The BRICS group has already expanded from its five members, South Africa, Russia, China, Brazil, India, to a border group including Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Ethiopia, and Iran. Argentina applied and then withdrew after its presidential elections. Egypt's president hailed Russia's support for Egypt's economic projects when he met Putin. Chief among the Sisi said was Egypt's first nuclear power plant at El Daba in the Mediterranean coast, built by Russia's state atomic energy corporation, Erasta Atom. India and Brazil share some of the desire to be free of the U.S. dollar dominance, but not the same extent as China and Russia. Despite the anti-Western language in the summit, Brazil's president said that BRICS is not against anyone. Brazil is advising against Venezuela being admitted into the group as part of an effort to prevent the alliance becoming purely anti-Western. And I've seen some information about the Brazil president before, and it's good that he's trying to be the peacemaker here and not have it turn into a another Cold War type situation, because as you all may know that the USSR collapsed and they're not Russia's not communist anymore, and it looks like they're making this other type of alliance of these different countries, similar to the USSR, in my opinion, or you know, something like that. But of course it's not communist, so it's something different. And it's good he's seeing this and trying to make it into a non-thing that would be against the West, specifically, and then it's just a group of nations coming together. So it would be good that if it went in that direction, but it's likely that it will... It could escalate, in my opinion, or go downhill. Venezuelan president made a previous unannounced arrival. He was quoted by Russian news agencies as calling the group the epic center of the new multipower world. And also, Putin is waiting to see what happens with the 2024 election, how that will turn out. And we'll see how all that goes and it's always good to have peace in the world and not have all these wars and conflicts going on cuz people may disagree with different candidates and stuff and that's understandable but whoever brings peace to the world is very important in my opinion also to explain the situation about Russia's bank the Russian bank has stacked up silver and they're buying more silver now and this has caused silver to go up in value recently. The Russian Central Bank is leading all these other BRICS nations into silver, and this is the first time a central bank has used silver as their backup reserves, because usually it's gold, but now they're using silver, and silver is an industrial metal that, in my opinion, and many others believe also, it's very undervalued, and it is, the price has been in my opinion, manipulated and suppressed and not really realized as the valuable metal it can be because it's used industrially a lot. And there seems to be, from what I've researched, that there is a shortage of it. In my opinion, many other YouTubers have talked about it. And Silver Slayer is a good YouTube channel that talks about that also. And yeah, so basically... This is driving silver and gold to go up, and silver has reached an all-time high from 2012, and gold has reached an all-time high in forever. So, this is going to cause more damage to the dollar and cause the dollar to go down, and thus causing more tensions between the West and the East to escalate. And hopefully, everything, you know, as I said before, and the world gets peaceful, and it es and it stops escalating, and it could go down, and we could there could be pre there could be more peace in the world, and at the same time, it is good to see silver being valued finally after all this time, because I believe that it was underappreciated. Yes. So comment your thoughts below about what y'all think about it, and be nice to each other in the chat, and everybody have a good day.